Radio in Houston twice on this bowl. Right here in Houston. The bowl is the iron horse from the do or die rodeo company. We got a dog, North Carolina. Look at him ride. He comes. Uh oh. I spoke to him. Strong bull with a big jump out there and then away from away from Galarme's hand. Shorty. Look like Galarme got sent right into you. We could even hear it up here. Yeah, he had some pretty good momentum going and uh, I tried to step around him, but he slung him right into me and uh, I'm glad that bull just uh, gave us both a second chance at life and went on down the end of the arena because he, he could have had his way with both of us pretty easy right there. My with a pick in the draft and he chose a bull that bucked off his good friend Galarme Marchi and round number one yesterday. Shorty, you told me you thought this was the best bull out last night. I did, Ty. This bull, he really exploded out of the chute. He, you know, his belly was almost at the, at the top rail of this, uh, of the gate. This bull had a lot of explosion. They really kicked and just jerked uh, Val, or glared me right over his head. Had his way with Glare me. When you can do that with a guy that's as strong as him, you're, you're bucking. You know, this is a great young bull. Uh, this will be his second trip this weekend. Like I said, he is young, so uh, he, he has a little thing going for him there. Uh, if, if he has an off day, we kind of we don't expect that, but but uh, don't don't uh, be surprised if he isn't as impressive as he was last night. Shorty, it's interesting that three different bulls impressed Cody Lambert enough to make that jump from the long round yesterday straight to our championship round. Not just Iron Horse, know. but also Union Pacific and Amy's pet, who we'll see later. Well, that's just it. You know, Cody, he's the general manager of the bulls, so to speak. And uh, he said, hey, these guys were impressive. We're going to put them in the championship round. This is the, the bottom of the ninth, you know, with three on. And uh, he throws these guys in to throw the next pitch. They're impressive young bulls. And uh, look forward to seeing them throughout their career. Let's listen into the shoes. Around and around, Iron Host goes. Valron makes only four seconds. You know, Craig, how soon the tide can change. Valderon, the world number one, has by far the highest riding percentage coming into this event. But we're seeing three no scores here. And, you know, I talked about that tide changing when... <laughs> Second ride, you get out of boy, you throw your hat. 
You could see daylight behind his knee. He was reaching, set in his feet. Look at that bull fade. Look at him come back with the free arm. This is the man who tied with Terry Don West for the record in Rodeo Houston. You ready for this? 94 points! And that is the ride that ties the Rodeo Houston record. The all-time high score in the history of this rodeo. And you folks watched it. Hey, this is the National Final of the Bull. You watch the quarter of this bull, they call it Iron Horse. They won it in this bull five times in the last year and a half. They're putting key points in. I made the comment if he was at the Calgary Stampede, 10,000 people would have cheered. Hot shot, Canadian. Wow! Slump no more. Say goodbye to that slump, Canada. You're out of it. Well, we don't have an exchange rate on our scores. Do you like it? Tell them the 91 score is okay. 91, 91, 91. Hundred and seventy nine on two. That could have been a five thousand dollar eight second effort right there.